Hello Guardians, welcome back. This is Rightway Gaming and today we're bringing you another Destiny 2 video. Um, today it's a bit of a strange one to do with the Festival of the Lost and it's how to unlock the Brilliant Smile Triumph. Now this is a quest line, it's quite a lengthy one but a pretty easy one, nothing too strenuous. So in order to start off this quest you are going to need to go and visit Iris. If you visit Iris, she will give you a box of raisins. So you need this in order to start the quest line. So go to the moon and pick this up off Iris. From Iris, you will need to go to the Tangled Shore. You will need to go and visit the spider with the tiny box of raisins and he will give you a quest to complete. That quest will simply be to kill 12 Fallen, 12 Scorn, 12 Hive and 12 Cabal enemies. Not too difficult, not too hard, and it's pretty self-explanatory. You can kill Fallen straight from the door from Spider, Scorn in the Lost Sector near Spider, Hive in the Jet Sam, and Cabal over by the Soric Cup. Okay, so once you've been back to the Spider and picked up the next piece called the Winged Chew, you need to go to Anna Bray on Mars. She will give you another quest for the Winged Chew, this one will involve using one of each type. So basically you're going to need to get kinetic kills, energy kills and power weapon kills on Mars. Once you've done that, simply return to her, pick up the unchocolate for the next part. Once you've finished up on Mars, you need to take the unchocolate to Ashia Mir on Io. And he will give you a quest to complete a very simple quest again to basically get 10 precision final blows on Vex and take or, Taken sorry, on Io. Now, again, this is a pretty easy task to complete. So for the Taken, simply head straight to the Lost Sector over the road from Ashia Muir. And for the Vex, simply head to the Lost Sector in Artifact's Edge. Once you've done that, return back to Ashia Muir and he will give you a piece of celery. Once you've finished up and you've handed the piece, well, once you've got the piece of celery from Asher Muir, you need to take the piece of celery over to Brother Vance on Mercury. He will give you a quest which involves elemental steps. So basically you'll need to get, I think it's 5, no, 10 void kills, 10 art kills and 10 solar kills. Now I'm going to give you a little heads up on this if you think that killing ads in the public event will count. It does not, so simply focus on the ads that spawn naturally around the map. Now, I used my Recluse, my Trust, and a Black Scorpion for this, but again, you can literally use any preferred weapon of your choice. Once you've completed the quest for Asher Muir and you've picked up the Splice Drops, you need to head over to Nessus and visit Failsafe. She will give you the next quest step. In order to complete this one, you'll need to kill 5 Fallen, 5 Vex, and 5 Cabal using abilities. So I simply just meleeed 5 Fallen over the road from Failsafe, popped over to the Lost Sector in Artifact's Edge, and meleeed them, and then simply visited the Lost Sector over by the... I forgot the name of it. But the Lost Sector over by the left-hand bottom spawn. You visit that Lost Sector, it's full of Cabal, melee five of them, and that's this quest step done. She will then hand you the Sour Engram. Alright guys, I got the wrong bit there, I got mixed up in my little text. So basically, Nessus and Failsafe should reward you with Salted Sweets. You need to take these Salted Sweets to Devram K in the EDZ, and he will give you the foregone conclusion quest, in which you'll need to simply perform five finishes on Fallen, Cabal and Taken. So again Fallen are pretty much straight outside of where Devram K stands. Cabal you will find either over by the north side of EDZ or over where you can actually find the Taken as well. Um, there's plenty of lost sectors with both of them in so just simply have a look around and you'll uh, pretty much find them. I ended up doing a Taken public event to get the Taken done and Cabal at the same time because Cabal were also in the area I was in by the Drench. So again, it's a pretty easy one to do. Simply head back to Devram K once you're done and he will then hand you the Sour Engram for the next part. So once you've finished up on the EDZ and you've headed back to Devram K and picked up the Sour Engram, you need to head over to the Dreaming City and speak to Petrovenge. She will give you a quest which states to 
the best of my abilities in order to kill five enemies with a melee, five enemies with a grenade ability, and ten with your super kills. Now, the best way to do this, again, would be to drop down into the Lost Sector below Pect Revenge. It's full of Taken. Throw a grenade in front of a load of random thrall and melee the rest. Then super whatever else spawns in when you're damaging the boss. So that is again a pretty straightforward quest. Once you've done that and headed back to Petra Venge, she will give you a sugary engram in which you will need to progress. Once you've finished up with Petra Venge and you've headed back to her, she will offer you some sugar the sugary engram as mentioned you will need to take this to sloan on titan now this is probably the lengthiest part simply because there's a little bit of journey involved so for sloan she's going to ask you to complete a progress bar by getting kills in the solarium the press drink halls and aborintum now this is the area at the other end of titan so you're best off spawning by the rig and heading over that way and basically once you've entered the solarium the laboratorium is to your left and the festering halls are to your right. Just make sure you do the kills in the solarium first, then head into each of those areas to fill the rest of them. Once you've done that, she if you head back to Sloan, she will reward you with the Void Fizz and you're nearly done. And for the final part with the Void Fizz from Sloan, you simply need to return to Erismont on the moon. She will hand you one final quest. Now I've seen a few things out there saying that it's basically to perform your favourite emo, but it is not. It is to perform the dance which is which is associated with whatever race you chose when you created your character. So for an awoken, a human, or an I forgot the name of them. Whatever the other race is. Now it's not that hard to find because the actual quest step tells you the name of the emote you need in order to complete it. So simply go into your emote collections, pop in the dance, whichever one it says. For me, it was the popping dance. Perform it in front of Iris and you will complete this quest and you will be rewarded with a clean toothbrush. Simply go to your inventory, click use on it. It will pop you with the triumph and leave you with another item, which is a used toothbrush. Bear in mind, this item will probably be needed for another quest step later on, so do not throw it away. Keep it in your inventory until next week, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. As always, don't hit that, forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment below. I'll see you next time. Great.